Hi, welcome to my video. I'm Jennifer Roberts. You're catching me on my YouTube channel, True Divine 44. You can also catch me on my Facebook page, True Divine, and it is the True Divine for both Instagram and Twitter. Any likes, shares, subscribes, comments are greatly appreciated, and much love to everybody who does that thus far. I want to mention um, somebody who was brought to my attention yesterday by a very dear brother. Um, who whose mother watches me every day and I didn't even realize that she did so and um, just that the readings have been helping her very much so to bring peace so Donna I want to send very much love to you today and um, I hope that this reading again helps you today and thank you for your support thank you for your kind words um, and thank you that you reflect this growing family that I have around me that are there to support and inspire me uh, right back at me when I give it to you you send it right back at me um, with, in whichever way possible so Donna thank you so much um, for everything that you said um, via your son yesterday Mwah. So this is part of the free content that I put out, the daily reading, um, to help support, guide and inspire. Remember, it's general, so only take what resonates here, leave the rest behind. Um, I work with energy, I work with tarot, so I bring the two together to bring you a narrative to help you be forearmed, forewarned, or have some... Um, aid in reflecting on the day that has just gone by the energies that you might have felt in yourself or that you might have encountered via others or just the, the energy around you in general so this is for the 30th of june 2020 um and it's a funny one it is it is a funny one we have three 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 in the make of that what you will the the cards that have come out there's the three of wands three of swords and three of pentacles um so i did clarify a little bit more so than usual because the, of course you know repeating numbers numbers are sacred and um and and they, they needed to be clarified some more um again on the bottom of both of the decks both the clarifying deck and the the deck in general we've got the five of pentacles and then we've got the five of cups um so underpinning the reading the five of pentacles what needs to be cut out um what are you feeling left out of um what needs to be taken what what do you need to walk away from what do you need to leave behind um is somebody cutting you out do you feel in the relationship that you are at a distance from this person the five of pentacles is um a feeling lack in some department maybe financial and uh, maybe you're worried about finances right now um but it's feeling some kind of lack that needs to be let go of um it is the card that speaks of um the material so even the people that you have around you in particular what 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 energies need to be cut out um, what energies are of a lower frequency and bringing you into this feeling of lack this feeling of um, discontentment um, it's there's a hardship here there's there's financial hardship there is physical hardship in not feeling comfortable in your environment it does speak to travel um now for me it speaks to travel being blocked a lot for a lot of people um maybe travels that were planned are being blocked by outside forces and we can all guess what that would be um you know this second wave so to speak um it does speak to taking chances, being brave enough to taking chances on your passions, the things that really fill you up. So that leads us into the first card, which is the Three of Wands. Um, the Three of Wands talks about taking action. You're fired up. You've been in the Two of Wands. Um, you've you've made plans in the Two of Wands, and now in the Three of Wands, it asks you to take action and it would very much ask you to take action on those things that and people that you need to cut out around you um to relieve this feeling of lack um and also take some chances especially if you're feeling financial lack financial hardship take some chances on the plans and passions that you were making before what is there to lose um you have nothing to lose right now to be honest it's it's 
when there's nothing to lose it's all to play for isn't it it does speak to partnership again these two cards together both this speaking of travel and this speaking of travel it might be that you need to find a way to get to where you know you need to be um there's assistance there if you look and again those two cards reflect each other again um, in that if you look for the assistance maybe in places that you haven't looked before um, more, more prominently in places that you haven't looked before um, there is assistance there some way somehow to get around whatever obstacles whatever lack there is um, it, it speaks of the, the three of wands talking about the fruits of your labor now in the three of swords the next card this is the card that again is right under the five of cups on the other deck so that's the depiction of the three of swords in a lot of other decks it's it's harsh it's hard it's hard um and so this speaks of old wounds it speaks of wounds that still need to be worked on that still need to be um transmuted and and, and th there needs to be some truth here um, because to clarify this card we have the eight of swords no yes eight of swords so you see she's all tied up she's all knotted up and the swords are air this is air too these are thoughts these are this is a mental prison you've imprisoned yourself by these wounds that you still haven't healed and there needs to be some real honesty with self here what are you binding yourself up to that doesn't that doesn't match your frequency that doesn't match your plans your your the action that you need to take um what is it around you that that is that is locking you up that is making you feel so imprisoned um and so constricted you can see she's bound and she's bound by all of these thoughts these too much mind too much mind um far too much mind causing far too much pain um these th there needs to be action taken on these wounds it's these wounds that somehow some way are holding you back um and it's by these wounds that the outside forces hook in very easily into our psyche and lower our frequency and bring us into this fear filled card this imprisonment these thoughts that are going around and around and around in your head it's the merry-go-round card um that that is m more and more difficult to get off the longer that you stay there now the gift with the three of swords although some people wouldn't see it as a gift um is that whatever bad situation you're in whatever sorrow you're feeling um it's to learn from those mistakes it's to have a deeper understanding of self a deeper understanding of others a deeper understanding of of what what you're here to do what what can this build what can these wounds build in you what kind of armor as the warrior to go on can these wounds give you um where is it that you need to have that deeper understanding of self and that honesty with self um and with that you know if you can do that there's the three of pentacles now this speaks of jubilee it speaks of joint ventures it speaks to ability rather than lack through transmuting those wounds and being honest with self and honest with those uh, those people around us um that were not matching the frequency anymore um it speaks to then the tribe that you that you are are matched with that the that your frequencies match um you you have in you can inspire each other it speaks of other people coming being able to when you've gotten rid of these blocks these wounds being able to come into your life to create this joint venture this teamwork who are you meant to be working with who are you meant to be around what are you meant to be doing with these people and why are you allowing these mental blocks this too much mind too much 3d um to bind you to keep you there to hold you there um because to clarify just to jump backwards sorry i'm going backwards a bit in that the three of wands to clarify that the nine of swords comes up so people are tying themselves up in these mental prisons this is nightmares this is lack of sleep this is um the 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 mental actually having an effect on your ability to take action on things that need to be actioned upon um uh, because of the physical lack of sleep the exhaustion and of course that helps keep us in this three of swords 
and this eight of swords imprisonment um, it keeps us in those old, old wounds. Now the outside forces are doing everything they can, the mainstream media, the governments are doing everything they can to really cash in on those wounds that have um, been manipulated into the consciousness a lot by them, by themselves in, uh, to chain you up. This is the devil card that jumped out and um, to keep you bound to the wounds that that help them manipulate you that help them channel you into whatever direction is best for them um and so it's for you to lift yourself out of that and it's all about um liberate in the mind through liberate in the mind you can bring in the material people and joint ventures um, and take action upon those and enjoy those actually enjoy life a little bit um, through liberating that mind you can do that uh, now with this on the bottom of the clarifying deck on top of the three of swords card we've got the five of cups now you see this guy is dark he's hunched over he's, he's in a depressive state you can tell that with this nine of swords card and this eight of swords card is locked in in a certain thought pattern and it's looking at these three spilt cups that are on the floor where ev all of his emotions everything that he's fed into everything that he felt was important is spilling out as much as he's tried to cling on to it it's spilling out it's causing heartache all this guy needs to do is turn around and there are two cups standing upright here that have everything in that he needs to go forward with his action plan and to find the right people to have these joint ventures with so it is about um, liberation of thoughts liberation of minds um, uh, working like a morpho to rise above make the decision to rise above all of the psyopses that are around right now and again i'll repeat it again this is all about inner work there's nothing else that can be done right now but inner work to clear out these wounds because this is what is in the middle of it all whatever these these mental um wounds are are that whatever they represent to you they're blocking your flow they're keeping you bound to the things that you know keep you either addicted or keep you tied up or keep you in a place that doesn't match your frequency anymore just doesn't work anymore um and it's blocking planned ventures it's blocking planned joint ventures it's blocking um people that you would have been working with the, the plans that you made are being blocked because outside forces and individuals around you are trying to cash in on the fact that you have these wounds that they can hook into you that way that they can have that effect on you that way um so it's for you to absolutely liberate yourself from that and um take the power away from outside forces whether that's individuals excuse me in your life or whether that is the the the, the, the collective 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 stage um either or that's you need to be working on that it's it's all about the inner work and i know that's repetitive i know that's something that's i've kept saying and saying but that's the challenge right now that is the, the that is what the complacency regarding the inner work is what got us to this point right now so we need to have that antidote of um you know not giving them those wounds to hook into not giving them that opportunity to to get us that way whether it's individuals around us whether it's ourselves locking ourselves up in a prison or whether it is the opposing forces the collective stage liberate thyself so you can take that action and be working with these people these joint ventures that you plan to do so that you will enjoy that will bring you joy that will bring you bliss and bring you that abundance and take you out of that lack so that is the reading for the 29th of june 2020 as always if you want a private reading with me book with the details below please don't message my private um facebook page because messages are getting lost in in the inbox there I get lots of inboxes there if you go to true divine um the facebook page the facebook business page then message me there it's easier for me to see it's easier for me to get back to you quickly and get something set up whether that's a reading spiritual guidance or some energy work whatever it is um that you require we can get you set up real quick if you go to the X then I'll be able to see see your need get back in touch with you super quick and we'll get it on 
on a roll. So next time I'll see you tomorrow. Much love. Be balanced and be whole as always. Mwah.